let's talk about the platform updates as far as Studio is concerned for October 2023. I guess in terms of updates uh, that you would actually see and be able to interact with, October has been a quiet month. OK, um, we had the big uh, lab client release in September, not that we really told anybody about it. We did show you a little bit on the uh, September lab developer workshop but we've left till now to it to get baked in a little bit. Um, and because of things we're doing around the script library, plus two or three other features that we're bringing out really early next year, which are going to be big changes to the platform um, to really make it much, much easier to work with. Um, there's a lot of what I would regard as scaffolding work going on. So eff effectively, the components that are needed to do uh, uh, make things work in the back end for the new features that we want to put into the front end. OK, so most of the features that have been released during October are either very customer specific um, that they needed because of things they wanted to do or have been security related or bug related, things along those lines. OK, however, there is one feature that was released and we didn't really make any song and dance about it. And I think it's something that you know can be quite usable um, in, in, in the labs that you're writing today. OK, so I just wanted to show you this. This will be a quick subject, but uh, I think it's worth talking about it. So we introduced new expandable blocks. Okay, so first of all, you might be going, what do you mean by a block? So blocks can be just the uh, text blocks that you can create, or they could be a note block or uh, a help block, those sort of things. We made it much, much easier and much neater um, for them to be expandable. And also, they're also using sort of more of a modern UI experience. So effectively, you know, some of you might have used the markup where you can put a details and a summary piece in, and you normally end up saying, click on details for more information. OK, because maybe the user interface isn't intuitive. So this is to resolve this as well. The other thing that's really important about this is you can start using these today with the old lab client. So you don't need to move to the new lab client to take advantage of this feature. It looks much nicer in the new lab client, um, but you don't need to use the new lab client to take advantage of this. So what are we talking about here in terms of the, what is it, what does it look like, how do I use it? So first and foremost, all of our documentation has been updated. So ultimately, if you keep our sort of markdown reference guide handy, that's been updated to reflect these changes. If you're familiar with doing like a help block, so you do sort of the open square bracket, exclamation mark or bang, help, close bracket, you replace the uh, exclamation mark with a plus. That's all you do. That's the only change that you do. And it becomes an expandable block. So this works with blocks. It works with alert, hint, help and note blocks as well. OK, so it works with all of those. So what does this actually look like? OK, so I'm going to show you this because obviously I want to keep things a little bit under wraps in the old client. OK, so let me just drag my browser across here. So here's effectively an expandable blocks demo. OK, so there are no virtual machines or anything in this lab, so it's a really simple lab. OK, so if you think about this would be your traditional block of text where you've just got multiple lines in a gray box. OK, but now by using this new syntax, you see we get these little drop down blocks. It automatically bolds the title and it um, sort of just makes it a neater, more intuitive user experience. OK, when you see this under the new lab client, you'll see this is really um, amped up from a quality point of view, from a visualization point of view. So here, other than effectively the red blocks for alert, which is obviously what we've always had. They're all just gray blocks, you know, think all the notes and knowledge is they're all just gray blocks in, in, in our environment. OK, but you'll see this will change. So some of you, if I just go and edit the uh, instructions here, you can see here's the traditional block. OK, so that's the first piece. And here's it, that same piece of text effectively turned into an expandable block. So all we're putting here is the open square bracket plus close square bracket. OK, if it's something like the help blocks, you can just see that the exclamation mark here has been changed to a plus. 
So that's the only difference in the syntax to get these expandable blocks. OK, so some of you might be familiar with doing things like this. You know, um, this might have been the old way that you might have done this. But you might have done something like a, a summary. Like that. So effectively, oops, sorry, I spell summary correctly. So something along those lines. And then you might have done something like a details. And then a details to close it. So you might have done something along those lines. Spell correctly. OK, so that would have then given you sort of that type of experience. So then you can click on the little details and expand it. So first and foremost, you can actually see all experiences are still available to you. You can have it non expanded if that's what you want. You can have it expanded the old way. Um, if that's the way you want that to go. Plus, you've also got this new expandable block model as well. OK. So all three of those options are available to you to use, however you might uh, see fit in your instructions. I say normally the only thing with this model at the top is normally you sort of have to tell people to click on the details to sort of see the more information just to make it that, that sort of bit easier. OK, so. Hopefully that shows that new feature. But one of the things that you will see is when we actually look at this with the new lab client, you're going to see this feature is effectively turbocharged even more. OK, so hopefully when you see it in the new lab client, you might go, oh, that is a significant difference. OK. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, something you can start using today. As I mentioned, actually, I should have done that while I was in here. If I go to things like the help for the markdown in here, you can see that all the help has been updated. So here's the instructions for the new expandable blocks. So you can see in there and again, just telling you basically to put the plus. In place, OK, so pretty simple, pretty straightforward. OK. Anybody got uh, any questions on that they would like to ask? It's reasonably simple, but just in case there is. OK, perfect. <clears throat> OK, as always, um, we like to make sure that uh, we can keep you up to date. So just remember, uh, we don't make these URLs publicly accessible, but you're more than welcome to make a note of them. And so you can actually sort of look at our release notes and our platform roadmap. So if you want to see what's coming up, what we've just released, they're, of course, the places to uh, to keep an eye out.